Hey, building here working with my brother blue today if you didn't know it everybody calls me red it's always been my nickname and my brother somehow they started calling him blue so uncle blue's with me today he's on the camera and i'm just going to show you a simple way to mark out stair treads and uh it's it, you don't have to even use a framing square you know a lot of carpenters A lot of carpenters will use this framing square with these just little lock nuts. And uh, I can take and show you a way, and I actually learned it from Perkins Builder Brothers. I'll show you a way where it's super simple. Anybody can do it, DIY friendly. And uh, we already cut our first two, and we used it to mark this one, but I'm gonna start from scratch like it wouldn't mark and show you how we got what we got here. He'll show you over here where I already got two marked out. So what we had to do, guys, is we at first off, we're building a set of steps right here up to this little landing here they got, and they're gonna use it as a storage area. First off, we had to get a measurement from our top surface to the ground. So from the top to the ground is 100, a little over 105 inches. So we're calling it 105 inches for simplicity. And I'm gonna put it in here right now showing you how we did the math on getting our actual calculation. But, so guys, I'm gonna try to explain to you how I came up with uh, that rise. Let me scoot that down. So from the top here, from the top to the bottom, remember was 105 inches. A comfortable step is from seven to nine inches and you need to check your code wherever you live your in your area um, and make sure that passes code if it's something that's going to be inspected but a comfortable step from seven to nine inches so if it's 105 inches tall that's going to be your number we divide into so 105 and we just say for a while for instance let's see how 10 steps would work so 105 divided by 10 steps would be a 10 and a half inch rise too high 105 divided by 11 steps. That's a little over nine and a half. Still a little bit too tall. Nine and a half. So we'll go 105 divided by 12. That gives us eight and three quarter. I'm perfectly fine with that. So from here, when your steps come down, you know, and they'll come down, you know, that ain't beautiful, but you get what I'm saying. There'll be an eight and three quarter inch rise and a 10 inch run is what I'm going with. So every step will rise eight and three quarter inch as you're stepping up. And the actual part your foot will land on is it cut out at 10 inches, but it'll be 11 and a quarter because we're using a two by 12 for actual tread. Hope that makes sense to you. That's as easy as I can simplify it down, but if it don't leave a comment and I'll try to explain it even more. So by us using 12 steps, and, and we divided that into 105, it gives us an eight and three quarter inch rise. After you got your calculation and you know what your rise is, we want to run 10 inches because that's a comfortable run. Uh, if you do a 10 inch run, which is the actual width of the step, uh, then you can get you a tube of 12, which is 11 and a quarter, and that'll give you a little bit over an inch overhang with your actual tread. And uh, so what we're gonna do is for eight and three quarter, that's what our rise is, rise is this part. That's the amount of height you have to step while going upstairs. So for eight and three quarter inch rise, we mark eight and three quarter, and then our run is 10 inches. So 10 inch run, eight and three quarter inch rise. We'll just take, connect those dots real quick. That right there is your cutout. And I can prove it to you, because we got a bunch of cutouts. So here's the cutout. Look at you lay that thing down. I mean, it's spot on the money. So, 
after we figured this out, we cut that piece off. We attached it to just a piece of one before. You can use two by one by, it don't make no difference. And then we started and we knew that we had to have 12 steps by the equation I showed you earlier. So it was a 10 inch run and an eight and three quarter inch rise. So what we did is we just start and we started at the end, we marked that out. Well, we actually started down here, let me show you. So this is our first step. We just need the run on it. We don't need the rise because it's our first step. So we mark that. So that's step number one. We'll come down and if you swing around here above and show them, we'll come around, we came down and met this angle here, marked that one out, that's step number two. We brought it down to the next one, step number three. We brought it down to the next one, step number four. We brought it down to the next one, five. You go all the way down, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And remember, we, by the equation we used, we knew we had to have 12 steps. So on our 12th step, we, do, we got a run here and we need a rise. So we come down and connect that edge, we mark down a rise. And because we're in, using inch and a half stair treads, we had to take an inch and a half off this rise for the first step. So we would come down from that edge we got an eight and three quarter inch rise. We would mark that there. And then we'd come from that, take off an inch and a half, and that gives a run. I hope that makes sense for you. So after we got that inch and a half off, we turn this backwards, run away, turn this backwards. And so this, this rise will actually be an inch and a half shorter than these, but it'll be made up when we put our stair tread on, which will be a piece of two by. So every time you step, it's gonna be eight and three quarter, eight and three quarter, eight and three quarter, all the way up through there, eight and three quarter inch rise from one end to the other. And then we just cut these things out. And once we cut them out, we just use that first one, and then that's just your little template. We use that first one to mark our others. Hope that makes sense to you. Now let's cut these things out. Check this out, guys. Remember that template we made? Get the cutting. Now, after you get those cut out, guys, there may be just some little bit. Uh, cleaning up to do we just like to use a wood chisel and a hammer and then uh, of course comes the worst you can even hit it with a little bit of a sander orbital sander not much just cut a little bit out 
but that's the top step. That's the bottom step. And there'll be them two by twelves laid this way. And you know, eight and three quarter inch rise all the way up. After we get this put together, I'll show you how we hang these things. <laughs> guys, I hope you guys, I hope you can hear me over that the heater there, but here we have our three stringers. And this is how I like to do steps. I actually go ahead and put them together. And uh, if you see, we, these are 40 inch treads and 20 inches the center. So we marked out for our stringer to be in the center, went ahead and marked it on that tread. And then we went ahead and attached two treads, one at the top and the bottom, and screwed them on, screwed and glued them, glued and screwed them. And uh, that way that it is already squared, it's put together. And then we just take and notch out the top up here, and that way it's flush. And we screwed us a two by six up on the top. And now when we stand these things up, and we get them leveled over there in that corner, once we stand them up, get them leveled, we can just screw right through that two by six. It'll be a good sturdy connection. Hey, if you got any questions, leave them in the comment below. Thanks, guys. I love you. Well, I may bring you back home. Guys, we got the stairs hung up. Hold on there a while, man, just a sec. We got the stairs hung up, and Uncle Blue's putting the treads on. And uh, we got this treated piece of tube of 12 for those stringers to land on. And that's how we hung it up up there. We just, let me see if I can show you. That's that board we notched out for, and we got actual structural lag screws into that header board there. And uh, we'll have to put a handrail on it here in a little bit, but it's looking sharp. So guys, we took and got the steps completely done now. Anchor that treated board down to the ground. Steps go up, they feel good. And uh, we got her some posts set down here. We screwed this two before up there, and we took a 16 foot board and we clamped it where it's touching at the back part right there and at the top, and we clamped it. And now we can take a pencil and that'll give us a spot to cut all them. We'll mark all three of them. Hey guys, thanks for watching. So I think those steps turned out pretty good. Now they got access up there for storage and it actually was a fun little job. I enjoyed it. Got to work for my work with my little big brother today. Old Uncle Blue helped me out and I appreciate it. We had a good time. He's over there making me grin right now. I appreciate y'all watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment below. As always, hit that subscribe button. Love each and every one of you. God bless. See you later.